Today I'm going to show you the Angus McCurt Predator 3 cleanup sluice. I have it set up on a recirculating water supply. The angle is an inch drop per foot and the sluice is level. I've run a couple of test scoops in there and what you want to see is that the material is staying even across the ripples. I'm running this with a 600 gallon or 1600 gallon pump with a constant power supply. I've tried running the uh, sluice off the battery pack right here, as you can see. I have one of my cords thrown over it. But the problem with that is it runs out of juice. So. Let's get started by feeding the sluice and cleaning up my cons. There are a couple specks of gold in that first little peekaboo window right there. Notice how the material is going over the uh, scrubber mat of the Angus sluice, separating that material nicely. Black sand already collecting up in the little uh, scrubbers, which I like to see. What I try to do is get the material to spread out nice and evenly without uh, Dropping big clumps of uh, material in. Gives them a good spread and a good chance for it to go over the scrubber and uh, separating material. I can actually run this a bit faster than I have it right now, but I'm uh, doing this because I want to get as much gold as possible in the first run, even though I've run it faster before and only recovered maybe two or three flakes that blew through before, and I was probably really hogging it before, so you can run this a little faster. Plus, I like to see the gold collecting behind the scrubber. I'll show you that right now. One little piece so you can see. Get it to focus. Right there. Piece of gold. Gold in there. There's flake right there. So let's see how it goes. I'll speed this up while I'm feeding so we can uh, not get bored while I feed this thing. Already gold showing up. We let it clear out a little bit. It starts to reveal itself in that first little uh, nugget trap. Still got some good action going on in the ripple. We have some gold stuck. Uh, 
in the, in the scrubbers. Little flake sitting right there. Alright, I'm done with the cons. It didn't take long at all. Maybe 30 minutes or less, really. If you watch closely as it's clearing out, you can see that gold getting uncovered. All that black sand. The gold will burrow its way right under that black sand while it's running. Also done tests before where I started from the back after doing a complete run and snuck a bottle of each compartment and the bottom compartment didn't have anything in it. The next one had about two flakes in it, very small, and it steadily got better. But the majority of the gold was up in these first three ripples. And actually, if you look real close, you can see a piece of bird shot sitting there. I'm going to move the camera set up. First thing I do is slow the water way down. I don't want to cut it off. I want to slow it down very slowly. Next thing I do, get my bucket. Classifier, quarter inch classifier I made. That holds down the splashing. And all you do, get this out of the way so I'm not in the water. And I lift it up into my bucket, tilt it a couple times side to side. Everything it is nice and clean. Now all my double concentrates are right in this bucket. 